Alright guys, check this out. So, whenever you use Kinter, you're not just limited to binding one function to one widget. So you're like, okay, that's kind of weird. What am I talking about? Well, with widgets, what you can do is you can bind multiple events to it, and depending on what you do to that widget, it's, it behaves in a different kind of way. So you can have a button, and if you left click it, something happens, and if you right click it, something else happens pretty freaking sweet so let's go ahead and learn how to do that right now so what I want to do is I want to build a uh, like one widget and I want to say if you left click it or middle click it or right click it three different things are gonna happen so we need three different functions that we can have occur so I'm gonna call the first one left click and of course we're gonna be passing in the event so we're gonna be doing this in the second um, you know, I taught you guys two different techniques to bind functions to widgets. We're going to be using the second one, and these are going to be real easy. This is just going to print left on the screen, and I oh, might as well type all these out. So to find right click, and it takes an event, print right, and of course the last one, actually let me put it in here, might as well put it nice in order okay you know what you're just freaking ticking me off right now def middle click and it takes an event as well so this is going to happen whenever we middle click on the mouse button aka the scroll wheel and this is just going to print middle go figure so now we have three different functions that can be called. So instead of just having a button, actually let me build a very basic frame. So this is going to be, it's going to look like just an empty uh, root window, but there's actually going to be an invisible frame in there. So of course, if you guys forgot, the keyword is frame and it says, where do you want to place it in our main window? And two other parameters that you can add to this are the width. And we'll just set that equal to like 300 pixels. And we'll set the height equal to, I don't know, like uh, 250. Now again, and actually, you don't have those. It's not a string. What the heck is, do you guys hear that? It's like a street sweeper or something going outside my house. But uh, there actually are no street sweepers that go on my street. So I don't know what it is. Anyways, there's a little distraction. So what this is going to look like since we have an invisible frame inside our window it's just gonna pretty much adjust the size of the window itself so if you have this 600 by 400 it's just gonna look like a 600 by 400 blank window but we know as programmers that there is indeed an invisible frame on there now we needed this invisible frame because we need a widget to actually bind events to so take that frame and the first thing we want to do is we want to bind button one and remember that is just left clicking on your mouse and of course what do we want to call when that occurs left click and hold on I gotta figure out what the heck that noise is outside alright it was some guy who decided to mow his lawn it's like almost seven o'clock at night and it's about to rain well, I don't know, maybe he has like, stuff going on later this week, but he decided it was a great time to start mowing his lawn. Go figure, in the middle of my freaking tutorial. Alright, so now we said, okay, whenever they left click on their mouse, then call this function. Simple enough. Well, now I want to bind something else. Now, whenever you middle click that scroll wheel on your mouse, that scroll wheel is actually called button 2. So whenever they middle click on this frame call middle click and if I copy this you guys can see how this program is going to finish out of course button 3 is the right button on your mouse so if you don't have a middle scroll wheel or if you aren't worried about it then you don't need to include this but one two three left middle right pretty easy to remember all the buttons in order so now the only other thing I have left to do is actually we added all the functionality 
on the frame right here, but we didn't say we want the frame to display on the screen yet. So of course, frame, I'll just pack it in there. No need to, uh, you know, use the grid or anything like that. So let me run it right here. And of course, remember, like I said, there aren't any visible widgets that are going to appear since a frame is just a blank empty container. However, it is 300 wide by 250 tall, even though, you know, there's no way of telling that without measuring it. So keep an eye down here about what's going on. I know you guys can't see my mouse, but check it out. I'm going to left click right now and it says left. When I middle click, it says middle. And when I right click, it says right. So right, right, middle, middle, right, right, left. Pretty sweet song. And now we know how to have one widget handle multiple events. Or in other words, you can do the same thing to the same widget, or excuse me, you can do different things to the same widget and have different events or functions be called. So now we know a bunch of different crap in the next tutorial I think it's time to actually start using the skills we learn and learning how to build a proper piece of software using classes so that's what we had to look forward to I will see you guys in the next video